Crippling gutworm. Right, we do need to solve that very quickly. Sorry about that, guys. I had the bum worms. Right. <laughs> Poor Lydia. She comes home from a hard hard day of being a house call, and there's me just dragging my ass across the carpet <laughs> trying to get rid of worms. <laughs> Good to have you by my side, friend. Oh, poor Lydia. Last time on the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, we tracked down the Rufal Axe and slew just some dude called Sebastian. <laughs> it's honestly the weirdest name we've come across in Skyrim, I think. It's like, uh, I don't know, playing Baldur's Gate and finding a guy called Dave. <laughs> you know, it just doesn't add up. But after collecting the Rufal Axe, we were on our way back to Solitude, but got diverted by Volskaig. A strange ancient Nord ruin filled with Draugr and bandits and, at the very tippy top, Volkson, the dragon priest. At least I think his name was Volkson. What was it called? Volsong. Yeah, it was close enough. Close enough. Right. We, we doubled up against Volsong and he broke and didn't. we didn't have to fight him at all. He just kind of stood there and, and took the hits. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> you know, it was kind of a... a, a almost anticlimactic ending to that episode because we were so is this the oh that's the other place ah okay so there was more to it, it yeah we were kind of geared up we knew that the dragon priest would pop out after we got the word wall and yeah nothing came of it it was uh yeah just a bit odd right we want to go to solitude so let's get the the uh, the uh, map up shall we we have been turned around. We wanted to go this way. Yes. Cool. All right. Yeah. Now I had to take a, a little bit of break. I know, like to, I've said a few times. I record these in little batches. So uh, this week, so you know, record two episodes back to back. So it's fresh in my mind. I don't forget anything. I still forget stuff clearly. But we also oh, Pine Moon Cave. Is this a werewolf thing? It feels like a werewolf thing, right? Anyway, we're not getting distracted. We're supposed to be starting the Civil War stuff today. But yes, we... had to take a little break in between episodes because I was just roasting. It, it, uh, I, I said it was okay, but I, I feel like it's actually just kind of... All the heat from the computer and the sun has accumulated into this room, so we need to take a bit of a break. Put the, put the fan on, put the aircon on. Cool down a little bit. Uh, before getting back to this, otherwise it would have been more of an incoherent mess than normal. I can't wait for winter. I cannot wait for winter, and I really hope we get snow as well. I, I don't. It, it sounds like a very <laughs> odd and slightly sad thing that I, I I want to take my cat out in the snow, but that's what I want to do. I want to take the cat out in the snow. Oh, fine. I'll fight you. Jeez. Go. Are you happy now? Do we? I think we can just go over the top of this Meridia's beacon thing, right? Is it still got the light beam? No, it's not. I think we drop down into Solitude, if I remember correctly. But yeah, it, it is about time that we do the the old. Civil War stuff. Did that just break my fall? No, I don't know if it did. Are we going to be panting forever? I feel like we are. Let me do a, a quick load, quick save. Nope, still there. Alright, okay, cool. I guess that's what we're doing now. We we are just panting. You know what? If that's the case, I'm going to run some more. And we're just on the turn-off, so now... Is it the carriage up there? I think it is. Grand. Okay, that didn't take us long at all. Well, we do need to sleep. We have got a house now, Solitude, haven't we? We fully decorated it and everything. Oh. A troll, huh? 
Bye. Does that kill it? Oh, not quite. All right, fine. We will do the do the job, shall we? Oh, or Ilya will. Jesus, Ilya. <laughs> she enjoys that way too much, that spell. But I mean, hey, if you're good at something, why, you know, why change it? That's why I'm still on one-handed stuff, huh? Uh, right. Stable. Are we... are we... There, there we go. Right, don't crash the game, please. No, this isn't the normal desired path. And Skyrim doesn't like it when I go too far off the path, but that shouldn't be a problem, right? People climb up there, there's a path up there. No Khajiit. Cool. So let's see, do we want to sell some stuff before we go? Because it's the middle of the day, it's probably a good time to, to do it, right? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. How do you feel? Oh, oh I'm a ill. I think I'm ill. I've got a disease, guys. Alright, um... No, I wasn't collecting arrows. Well, we'll get rid of those then. Restoration. Ooh, keep that. Sell that. And you know we don't actually have that much to sell. I did some pretty good management stuff for once. I did take a decent amount of time actually to um to go through. Oh yeah, to sell one of those is fine. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Why are you giving Hello, me such a dirty I'm look? Gizly. But you oh, can just call me yeah. Erica's okay, sister. Well, it's fine. Er I agree with you, Gizli. Erica is a complete dick. I had to put up, put up with him at a party. He was really just unpleasant. Didn't like him at all. So since we've not got anything else to sell, I suppose we just go straight to our house, right? I feel like that's profiling, sir. And that is a little bit racist. Right. Where is our house? It's not this, is it that one? I feel like it's that one. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. Radiant Raymond says Lord. Is that the opposite of profiling? Because he's going against the stereotype that I'm a sneaky guy? Possibly. Um, isn't there a fish tank in here now? I think we got a fish tank in here. Honor to you, my oh. I, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, we do get a fane. Uh, uh, not a fane, sorry, a... Steward. Honor to you, my thing. House call. House call. That's the word. Yeah, there we go. House call. We got there eventually. Yeah, I'm sure there's a fish tank somewhere, right? Anyway, let's uh, have a little kip, shall we? Eh, let's do 15 hours. That'll be enough. I'll take us to what seven in the morning, I think. God, can you imagine how good it be to just sleep in the same way that you do Skyrim? You just go to your bed. You decide, I'm going to sleep for exactly nine hours. And then you do. Like, no distractions, no bad shit happening. Just sleep. You'd feel so well rested. I, I, I want that. I, <laughs> I don't get that. I need that. Barbus, oh my god. Barbus, Hilda and Ilya just causing me the most issues at the moment. Where is our fish tank? I am sure there is a fish tank in here. Positive there's a fish tank. Maybe not. I don't know why I think there's a fish tank in here. I just... Part of me thinks there's a fish tank. I thought we bought a fish tank. I should stop saying fish tank. <laughs> it's sounding weird in my head now. <laughs> right, let's go to Castle Dower, shall we? Join the Legion. I think General Tullius is in here, isn't he? Through Castle Door to Castle Dower. Right, Tullius. Speak with Legat Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. Oh, okay. I've got to look in mind then. Watch yourself. Telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. You survived Helgen. 
General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. All right, I can handle anything you throw at me. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. Pretty sure it's confidence. Clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. Psh. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. I would hope not. Leg at Ricker, because that's kind of kind of creepy, kind of weird. Don't do that. What's a Fort Haragstad? The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Sure. Consider that fort already yours. Good. That's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. Can do. Insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Yeah, I think last time we mentioned that we normally go with Stormcloak. Um, so I figured this might be a good, good idea to go through as a, as an Imperial Legion man, right? And we kind of we've learned a bit more about it this time. Last time I was kind of emotive and was like, oh, they're not allowed to worship Talos. Well, it's clearly the Imperial that are the bad guys, right? They're under the Falmor's feet and yada yada yada. So I went with the Stormcloaks. As you do, Freedom Fighter. Great. But we know the Falmor's plan is now to cause division, and the best way for the division to end is Ulfric to die. You know, whether or not he You're is correct in his... Hey, the back. Correct in his cause, that doesn't matter. What matters is how it looks to the rest of the Empire. Join the Legion. Do that one. Oh, we're going all the way back over there, are we? Boo, all right. Uh, let's go, I guess, double back? Yeah, over that way. Oh, going back the way we came. Never mind. If I'd known that, I probably would have grabbed it last episode. On the way. Oh, we didn't do the reading. No, oh, I forgot. We had the, the big bad burr to read. Try and remember this time around to 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 have a bit of a read. Oh, um, yeah, no, it is this way. Cause this is the way that goes up by the Falmore Embassy, right? I believe so. This way and up here. Falmore Embassy. We can ignore them. Don't know if they'll ignore us. They might actually attack us. We do have a bit of a reputation with them now. Although we have joined the Imperial Legion, so maybe they'll get along with us. Actually, that's something I never thought about. How will the Falmore react to the Dragonborn being part of the Imperial Legion if you're in? rumor because they were very dismissive dismissive of me before but maybe that changes Although I don't know if they you know if it'd been a mod I don't know if they would have thought to write that in right now oh, who we got here we've got Taron Dref let's deal with the frost draw and we'll find out what's going on there Your crown. Oh, oh, it's this guy! Ethereum, pure Ethereum. It Where is, yes. It? Tell me. Uh, I made it. What? You... You found the forge? The Ethereum forge? I did. I had some help from Katria. Does the name ring a bell, Terondreff? You treacherous asshole! Katria? No, no, that's not possible. You... You know too much. I can't afford to let you live. Guards, kill him. Never should have come here. 
Cool. Alright, well, we had wondered about getting that um, quest. Whoa! Okay, cool. Right, got that one. Where's Terran Dreth gone? Well, just for that, I'm going to make your death very unpleasant. There we go. Okay, that was a summons. Where is Terran Dreth? He's up there being a little asshole, is he? He's pretty tough, isn't he? Just backing off all the time. Just fight me. You're the one who made these claims. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, Barbus, jeez. Slice your nose off. Terran, I'm going to take the... Oh, he's just got a bunch of Dwemer shit on him. He's got unique robes, though. I will take that. As a collector? Yeah, I'll take that. So yeah, we found him. Nice. We had wondered when we bump into him. And now Katria is avenged, kind of. I think we'd already kind of put her spirit to rest, but I'm pretty sure she's, you know, I don't know. Where, where, where would she go? What, what sort of plane? Would it be a plane of oblivion or would she go... What, Southern Guard? She wasn't a Nord. Well, she might have been, actually. She might have been a... Oh, hello. Bandit down here. What have you got? Why have you got a bunch of stuff down here? What is this? A large sack with carrots in it. Oh. It's a weird bit of environmental storytelling, that. Just a, a dead bandit and a... Oh, potion of true shot. Ah, was she on a stakeout? Was she like an archer of some sort? Oh. Were you killed by the skellies, huh? Boop. Kind of... Kind of piss poor, if I'm honest, because they are garbage. Wolf Skull, we've been there. It's not where we want to go. <laughs> Do love that shout. It's weird how, I guess, iconic the shout is in Skyrim, but then you've got similar you know, similar game mechanic in Starfield, and I find myself just not using it. And I don't know what the difference is. It should be something else that I really enjoy, because it's a very similar skill. It's implemented in a very similar way. And yet, it just doesn't have the same appeal to me. There we go. Get him, Barbus. Hmm. Try to get the sort of special ones where you disarm them and stuff. Oh, no. I think I've got disarm. Oh no, may maybe not, because we did reset it, didn't we? We had all the skills and now we're back to not as many. Oh, into the wall you go. I guess they're dealt with. Oh, they just fall through the world probably, right? Unless they popped back out somewhere. Oh no, they just popped back out. Alright, fair enough. down we want probably want to switch to our spells there we go okay marauders we'll be here all day if we deal with you know, if we're doing spells there we go sword 10 seconds shovel huh hmm Right, are there any more to kill, or is that all of them? That might be all of them. A bit of a poke around. So 
all looking pretty good. Do we want to make our way in from one of the towers? It's warmer in here, isn't it? Good. And no one up here. What do we got in the barrels, huh? Tomatoes? I'll take them. Carrots? I'll take them. More carrots? Sure. That's a nice view, isn't it? shipwrecks and shit. You don't really need a lighthouse out here or something, right? The Solitude one, I don't, obviously, is not enough, considering how many shipwrecks are on that coastline. The Solitude lighthouse does absolute dick. It does nothing. It does nothing to help the people. Do you know what actually helps the, the, the sailors navigate the coastline now? The shipwrecks. Right, let's get inside, clear this out, and ingratiate ourselves with the uh, good Imperial Legion, shall we? You're down, we've got somebody behind us. Outlaw, huh? Good old smoosh on the head. Coins, nothing else. Get Marauder. And he's dead. Right. All good stuff. Now, these places usually have separate, like three or four different sections, right? So there'll be a prison. There'll be the main fort, and then there should be something else as well. Though what that would be, I do not know. History of the Empire, not really a thrilling reading for in here. No locks on the gates. I even have anybody in here. There's nothing to guard. There's no people, there's nothing. It's, it's just trash. Okay, so we've got a few more places then to poke around, huh? Where? Oh, the. <laughs> Easy enough. Follow the arrow. Fort Regstead. Never should have come. Boom. Here. Done. Was he saying that about himself? He should never have come here. It does feel that way, doesn't it? There's a few more in here. Let's see if we can get some more stealth kills, huh? Do like a good stealth kill. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Oh. oh, he's in Daedric shit. I've actually got a bit of a tough guy here, huh? Ah, he's the chief. On you. Ooh, you're gonna block me, are you? It's nothing. There we go. Daedric mail, helmets, mail boots, mail gauntlets. Excellent, we will take those. That's all good. The fort is clear, I think. We are ready to go back. Yeah, the, the icons changed. They did pop up on the top corner, but I, at the top of the screen, but I was too busy paying attention to the loot. Neat. That was nice and simple, wasn't it? Let's get our good old 
demon horse. Tell them to come take the fort, unless they're already on the way. I know the other one, we actually saw the, the legion marching in, didn't we? The one at, was it the one at Riften? Or was that Stormcloaks that were marching in? Someone was marching in. I basically just cleared it and they were already on the way straight into the fort. Don't see anyone this time though. Eh, cool. Well, that's great. I wonder what would happen if you've already done that, right? Like, because oh, it probably keeps one where the bandits come back, right? Because there has been quite a few that we've cleared of bandits and then we see something else moving in. Either Stormcloaks or the Legion. We see somebody moving in. So I would assume that for the quest to not just automatically tick off, you'd need to keep one? One fort where the bandits always come back? That'd be my guess anyway. Right. So let's down onto the main road, shall we? There we go. Is this the... Is this the actual road? I don't know, it's down a bit further, isn't it? That looks more like it. Yes, yes, that is the one. Okay, good. Oof, okay. It's a good job my horse has shock absorbers. What do you need? Do you think they're gonna mind that I'm wearing stormcloak colours? I know, obviously, in the game, it's not a mechanic. They don't give a shit. In fact, I don't even think they react if you're wearing Stormcloak armor and you turn up and want to join the Legion, right? I don't think they do. So... What do you need? But I mean, like, in, if, if it was in reality, a real-life conflict, something like that, and you've got colors that you have to wear... I'm going to cut it off. Profiling again. Very nice. Actually joining your cause. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. But if someone turned up and said, I want to join your cause, but they were wearing the enemy colours, I probably wouldn't trust them. Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. Good. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. I'm a... Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer... going to immediately sell the gear if you give me the gear. the Legion, you'll be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Yep, no worries. Changed your mind? Decided you want to soldier for the Empire after all? I didn't really change my mind, you just stopped talking to me. I'm ready. Well then, repeat after me. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. Yep, upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor Titus Mead II. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. Uh, something, something, his great empire, sure. May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. <laughs> There's so many people below waiting to take me, my man. <laughs> I'm not scared of a few soldiers who are dead. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Empire. Yeah, long live the uh, the old dude. Long live the Empire, long sure. To the Imperial Legion, soldier. Great. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Okay, Speak fair enough. Baron. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you out there. Is it possible? Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legat Ricca has a special assignment. That I just don't. I don't want it. I suppose I'll talk to him afterwards. Right? Okay. Welcome Don't you to Nords put auxiliary. any stock in your Listen own up. traditions? I thought the Moot chose the king. We're backing Elisif. Um, the moot welcome to the Legion, the Auxiliary. Yeah, Listen you can up. actually give me the quest, Ulfric's please? Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Oops. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. 
The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Cool. Sounds great. What's the jagged crown? A legendary crown, dating back to King Harald's time, or before. A powerful relic of a golden age, long since past. Sounds Legend amazing. Has it that the crown is Can made from the it? bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. Okay, so how do we know the crown's in Corvinjun? Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Leshen campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back to Skyrim and secretly buried with the crown. Knowledge of that location was lost in the Wars of Secession. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, he's likely found it. Good, good, good. Um, so why do you fight for the Empire? I am a loyal citizen of the Empire. My parents were legionnaires, and I followed in their footsteps. But more importantly, I am a daughter of Skyrim, and wish to see her made whole again. Okay, fair enough. Don't Stormcocks call themselves sons and daughters of Skyrim? I've been a daughter of Skyrim all my life. I love this land, and her people. So do all the Nords that serve the Empire. Ulfric, too, once. He wasn't always a self-serving egomaniac. He fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. But Ulfric and his storm cloaks are deluding themselves. If there's any hope of a long-term victory against the Dominion, it's in the Empire. I agree with the that. The rebels are only inflaming the tension and weakening the Empire by distracting it from its ultimate aim. I mean, do you consider the Fel more enemies? I consider this conversation over. Not everyone's. Boo! All right, jeez. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. <laughs> yeah, I do know that. The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold mead. All right, let's go talk to the blacksmith. Get our gear, and then immediately sell it back to him. <laughs> what just hit me? What did that much damage? Was that the sign? I didn't know signs could hurt you. Wow. Arms and armor, forged by a master craftsman. That's nuts. Huh. Right. Beeren. No General Tully what said you'd get me outfitted. Yep. I just have one question for you. Light, medium, or heavy? What's what's medium? All right. This here is enough to keep your insides from... Ah, studded. Okay. It. One free outfit per soldier. Take a look. Right, I am going to sell it back to you. I don't want it. It's trash. Your gear is trash, parent. <laughs> here, take this Daedric stuff as well. It's way better than what you gave me. No, let's hold on to that. Let's, uh, let's give that to Ilya. Yeah, let's give it to Il Ilya. There we go. Return right, where is Ilya? You need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Uh huh. Ilya has disappeared. Everything all right? I guess. Is that Ilya? No. Just some people running around. Cool. All right. Sure. Why not? So where are we going? Corvignon. Where is that? I'll have a look on the map when we get outside. Right. Show on the map. So that is... I mean, what's the best way to get there? Whiterun? Probably Whiterun. So let's get the carriage to Whiterun. We will... Probably stay the night there in Bree's home, right? And then be on our way to Corvignon. I don't think we'll be able to get that done this episode. We are rapidly running out of time. I can take you to any of the. Where do you want to go? White run, my man. White run. There we go. Back and we'll be off. Sure. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, we've got the Khajiit here as well. Are they the ones that go to Solitude? I don't think they are, is it? There's, there's two caravans. There's one that goes from White Run to... I want to say... Morph? Oh, no. Markarth. And another that goes Solitude to... Somewhere else. I don't know. Not sure. But I'm pretty sure those two are separate caravans. That was the, the main point of my little spiel there. Kind of wandered off topic a little bit. Rest started rambling because uh, it's uh, ooh, it's getting warm. Getting warm in here now. I feel this sort of bead of sweat in my forehead. Not, not very pleasant. All right, let's rest until morning. Get ourselves a good breakfast. In fact, we've got a bit of salt. We should probably cook up some more salmon steak. We've got a lot of them. Don't know how much salt we've got, but I think we've probably got a little bit. Oh, is it just two? Okay, <laughs> it's hardly worth it at this point, but we're in the menu now. <laughs> we've committed this far. Let's do the rabbit. Sure. Cook some rabbit. Alright, food. Rabbit haunches. Uh, let's have a bunch of these, right? Apple pie. Are we well fed yet? No, we're not. Salmon steaks. Wow, we are really hungry. Oh, we were still sick as well. That might be part of it. Okay. What is it, like the gut worms or something? Let's find out what we've got. Oh, but yeah, crippling. Yeah, look. <laughs> there we go. There's a stamina, stamina regen too? Or is that the, the, the beer and stuff? Crippling gut worm. Right, we do need to solve that very quickly. Have we got a cure disease? There we got four. Great. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I had the bum worms. Right. <laughs> Poor Lydia. She comes home from a hard hard day of being a house call, and there's me just dragging my ass across the carpet <laughs> trying to get rid of worms. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you by my side, friend. Oh, poor idea. Okay. Up that way, huh? Well, since we're doing this now, let's get the oh, wrong hand, but alright, never mind. Daedra course. And we'll switch over to our proper weapon again. Wait, whoa, 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 we've got two on? Ah, there we go. Jagged crown. Dwarves, wares, and weapons. All for sale. Let's go around the back. Try and avoid triggering all those bandits down the bottom. Underneath White Run. If they're there, we we did clear them out not long ago, but we have been in Solstheim and Cyrodiil since then. So we may find their back. Maybe. Yep, they are. You know what? Let's clear them out. Why not? Hello, friends. Picked a bad time. Whoosh! Might as well clear them out, right? Bit of XP, all good stuff. Okay, there's one down. Do a bit of damage to you. Right, now we get a spell. Okay, that works. Two dead from that, that from our spells kind of get behind that a little bit right what do we got in here bunch of stuff hopefully some good stuff shit there we go oh 
Oh wow, still hungry, huh? What else we got in here, food-wise? Snowberries, meh. Frost Miriam. Uh, you're right there, Ilya. There seems to be a battle on, and you're just standing there staring at me. Whoa, shit, we missed. Gold, great. And it's up to 86, man, that is like just powering forward. I guess Barbus has kind of joined the Legion with us now. I don't think he's got much of a choice in the matter. Probably quite exciting for, for Barbus, considering how he gets treated by Clavicus Vile. Let's summon our lovely Daedric horse again. When we finally get onto the vampire stuff, we'll have to swap it out for the... Oh, what's it called? It's like a soul one. It's, a, it's another ghost horse, I guess. Ghost horse. Demon horse and ghost horse. Best of friends. But we, we are using this one an awful lot. Maybe it'd be nice to switch that over. But there's a bunch of new horses with the Creation Club too, isn't there? There's, there's you can, a whole bunch of like unique ones you can find. Oh. I'm guessing that's the Pale? Guard outfit? Because it's different from the White Run one. I don't think I remember that one before. I don't think I've seen it. Light blue. Soul choose is red. Dawn Stars is like a purpley, is it? Markov is I wanna say green. I don't remember sky blue. Right, where are our company of men? Ah, here they are. What's the situation? Stormcloaks were already camped out around the entrance when we got here. They don't know we're here yet, though. Well, that's something at least. Looks like the damned rebels got here first. No matter. We have the element of surprise. Prepare to move out. Cool. I'm ready, Mom. Follow me. Listen up, Legionnaires. Those Stormcloaks oh, okay. are the same reason we are. Ulfric, the pretender, wants that crown, but we're not going to let him have it. I realize some of you may know men on the other side, but remember this. They are the enemy now and will not hesitate to end your lives either. General Tullius is counting on us to bring back the jagged crown, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's show these rebels what real soldiers look like. <laughs> some poorly dressed men. A dog and a cat. That's what they look like. Surprise, assholes! Whoosh! Three for one. Oops, wrong spell. Oh, oh wow, okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe they're better equipped than we thought they were. <laughs> Well, if we're going to run back from Whiterun now? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> of course. Of course, of course, of course. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go and clear out those damn bandits again, and we're going to call it the... Because I still want to read that book. Oh, getting too cocky again. Not quick saving. All right. Well, let's go track down the bandits, deal with those, and then we will prepare ourselves for next episode where we're actually fighting, you know, 
real soldiers by the looks of it. Not these piss poor sort of clowns that have been walking around on the roads of Skyrim previously. They're obviously keeping all their best soldiers for these tasks. These are the commandos, the SAS of Stormcloaks. All right. Uh, is it? You just told me to back off. You knew I was here. Uh, okay, my horse is getting involved. I'm surprised it hasn't despawned. Right, one down. Has he got a sword in his hand, or is he just running at me with his fist, though? Oh yeah, he does. Oh, you know what, we're hungry, that's the problem. Okay, one down. Decent amount of gold, a few. So then we go into here and it spawns more, right? I think that's what happened last time. Take that. We've got a barrel of stuff there. Shit. Different loot this time too, right? Oh no, that, that's actually the same. Didn't last long at all. Frost rune. Don't need that. There we go. Very nice. There's still one fight going on somewhere. Stop. Stop talking to Barbus. Where's the last one? Oh, I think uh, Ilya's dealt with them. Right, well what we'll do is we'll do read our story here and then we'll, we'll kind of call it. Right, so it was the big bad bear. Which does sound like a children's book, but maybe it is not. No, it's got to be. The big bad bear and the very good forester. This book commissioned by the grace of Emperor Titus Mede II by the Imperial Legion. Once upon a time in the darkest corner of the Great Forest there lived a big bad bear called Darkfur. Darkfur was not the only bear in the wood but he really was the most dangerous. He was very mean to the Imperials at the Roxy Inn nearby. He would scare them very badly and everyone was very afraid of the big bad bear Darkfur. But then the very good Imperial Legion Forester Quintus came to the lodge. Quintus saw how cruel Darkfur was being to the nice Imperials at the Roxy Inn and decided that he should make them safe and happy again. Quintus had a bow and lots of arrows, so Quintus could deal with problems like bears and mean people very well. Is this an allegory for the Stormcloaks? It kind of, because their logo's a bear too. It's got to be. Quintus went into the great forest, found Darkfur's cave and shot him with one of his arrows. The arrow landed in Darkfur's rump, hurting him quite badly. Darkfur was very afraid of the good forester, Quintus, and ran away out of sheer fright. Darkfur left the forest and never troubled the nice Imperials again. Once again, the people of the Roxy Inn were safe and thankful. Maybe one day, you will become an Imperial Legion forester like Quintus and help people like he did. If you do decide you want to do that and make people happier and safer, speak to your local Imperial Legion recruitment officer. He'll help set you on the path of happy foresting and people protecting, just like what Quintus did with Darkfur. Jeez. Man, that's kind of, kind of dark, isn't it? When you think about it. Do, do, do militaries do that? In real life? I don't think they do. They definitely don't do that in New Zealand. They don't write children's stories telling you to, you know, join the NZ Air Force or anything like that. At least I don't think they do. I hope they don't. Jesus. That's some mad indoctrination if that's that's happening here as well. There are places I could see it happening. <clears throat> the US. <laughs> but 
not 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 in little old New Zealand, right? Anyway, let's leave it at that for this episode. It's a shame we died, but uh, it is what it is. And I will see you next time. Bye for now. Visit Kajit.